Hello, I'm Paul Leitch. I would like to talk to you today about the strength conditioning for the hook kick, especially for the power of the actual kick. Not the acceleration of the kick, not the movement into the kick, but the kick itself. And here we're actually going to isolate the posterior chain for the kick itself. Remember, when you throw a hook kick, although the flexors of the knee flex the knee, the muscles that extend the hip actually have to contract as well. So part of the hamstring and gluteus maximus contract to prevent the leg from going away from the kick, while the flexion of the knee we have the calves and the hamstring flex the knee and depending on how you do it, you may have two muscles here, the sartorius and gracilis flex the knee as well. Okay, so basic exercise that you can do using the ball, you basically lie down and lift up. Okay, now this exercise is more of the hip extension than the flexion of the knees, but this is a preparatory exercise. So once you have mastered this, you can actually extend the leg and bring it back. Okay, now what you don't want to do, you don't want to drop your hips every time you flex the knees, so you don't want to do this. Remember, the hips have to stay stationary. Straight line from the knee to the hip to the body as much as possible, only flexing the knees. Once again, like so. Okay. And once you get stronger, you can do the same exercise with one leg. Same thing on the other side. Okay. And this exercise usually is compared to lying down on the machine in the gym and flexing the leg. The problem with that, when you flex the knee, you're only working the flexors of the knee, you're not working the stabilizers of the hip. Over here, you're working the flexors of the knee and the extensors of the hips as stabilizers.